The first bobcat of the year in the Okanagan Bobcat and Lynx study has been captured, and this guy was particularly exciting because he's been caught before. This morning we recaptured a bobcat that we caught last year, and when we caught it, we anesthetized it, took the collar off that it was wearing, and then put a new collar on so we can get two full years of data from this one animal. For two years, Scully has been researching how bobcats and lynx interact, and how climate change might be affecting their behavior by tracking their movements via a harmless electronic collar that drops off after a few months, which doesn't always go as planned. So a couple of the collars had a battery malfunction in them where the pop-off mechanism didn't work and the pop-off mechanism is just a little pin that pops off and breaks the collar off at a specific point. The team uses humane traps to catch the cats, then briefly sedates them to take some data. Measuring the length of their uh, legs to, and uh, from nose to tail on the animal as well as their teeth, the size of their head, the size of their neck to see how the collar fits on, how the cat has grown from last year, how the cat compares with other cats of similar weight in those different dimensions. It's all in the name of conservation, which Al Pete takes to heart. Well, we're pleased as punch to be able to um, to deal with this project. Uh, I'm a former wildlife biologist from the province, and uh, this is a way for me to give back to the resource. Pete also said, keep your eyes peeled for the big cats as winter approaches, even in residential areas. You see a bobcat or a lynx, uh, first off, Take a moment and enjoy the moment. They're, it's a wonderful thing to see. They're a beautiful animal and, uh, and they're, they're not uncommon, but they are rare to see. They're very secretive. If you do see one that has a tag or a collar on it, if you notice that, or even if you don't, give us a call. Or if you'd like to help the program out with a donation, check out the Southern Interior Land Trust's website. For Castanet News outside OK Falls, I'm Chelsea Powery.